<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, Aimless James, for no reason. Present. And today we're playing another Patreon request, this time by Mr. Jonathan Barks for Pure Zephra, which is which is pretty much uh, counter traps dot deck. It's a stun deck. That's why that's why it says Pure Zephra stun in there. And and it's just it's just a mean deck. It's it's fairly competitive. It, it should be pretty pretty interesting. And it's got a toolbox too. It does a lot of things. And look at this guy. He's just majestic. So if you're just here for the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, much shorter video. I'll go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. And also, hopefully, I won't hit the microphone next time I put my hands up. <laughs> Was I supposed to snap? Uh, you could. Do you want to snap now? All right, here we are. First duel versus Senor Black, or perhaps Senior Black if he's American. Or maybe it's just Sir Black. Or maybe. Could be. Uh, we want to go first in this deck. And we are going first in this deck, which is pretty good. And we started with, with all these things. So probably best card in the deck, Zephrath. He's pretty cool. You activate him. And then they get Zephrath. And then, yeah, pretty much. So what he can do, he's the only one with a pendulum effect. You can get a pendulum monster from your extra deck and send it to, or a pendulum monster from your deck, send it to the extra deck. We'll pick the seven scale. And then he becomes that scale until the end of the turn. So then we've got a one scale. And there we go, now we can pendulum summon seven and one. And if you don't have this already, you normally want to, to pendulum summon out this guy. This, uh, this Yang Zing Zephra. 2600 defense, pretty nice. When it's summoned, you can add one Yang Zing or Zephyr card from your deck to your hand. We're going to pick nine pillars of the Yang Zing, because this is countertraps.deck. It's, it's all about them countertraps, baby. Slash EXE. Yes. And this can negate a spell, trap, or monster effect by destroying a Zephyr. Or by, by destroying a Yang Zing. And so this guy, like when he's summoned, he searches. When he gets destroyed, he searches. So not only are we stopping them, but we're going to get another one of these or something else similar. I just realized this guy's only got four yeah. extra deck. He's he's not the best. Now, should I just shut him down here, or should I wait for him to summon something big and then stop that? Hmm. Dicking now or dicking later? <laughs> I don't think I want I... him to deck thin. Nah. Yeah, let's, let's just... Let him, let, let's, let's dick him. Yep. The dicking of so a lifetime. So he's gonna be like, nah, nah, dog. Zephyrect. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yep. Um, negate the activation, and if you do, <laughs> shuffle that card into the deck. Interesting, I didn't shuffle that card into the deck, then destroy one Yang Zing, so I don't get to destroy this, unfortunately. Um, I mean, fortunately, I can, I can do other things to it, um, but actually... Terrible, terrible things. Terrible things. Things you wouldn't, uh... Yeah, because we don't have our negation. So what I'm going to do, we have this uh, Zephyr War, as it's called in the TCG. This is blow up one Zephyr card and one card your opponent controls. And if you have scales, you can just activate it from your hand. So that'll destroy this, and then I'll get my search that I so desire. Seven tools of the bandit! <laughs> now it is I who have been Zephyrect. <laughs> What will I mean? To be fair, he just paid a thousand life points. And yeah, now he's got a clear board. It would have been destroyed either way. So we'll just send. I mean, it may not have been destroyed, but I could just. I can just summon these two. And a lot of the, these one, a lot of them have effects when they're summoned, but a lot of them uh, don't. But there's a card that's like. Uh, what was it? All right, I'm just gonna get another Yang Zing path. Because that negates all the things. But there's a card that, like, uh, it has different effects depending on how many Zephyr with different names are face up in your extra deck. And if you have ten of them, you can send everything into your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard back into the deck. Random Predaplant. Predaplants forever. Uh, well, I mean, he is playing plants. Um, plants! If this card is destroyed, destroy that monster. Um, you can add one Predaplant. Okay, so he gets to search. This is one of the... Predaplants have interesting search engine, because it's essentially like a battle fader, except it doesn't negate the effect, it just destroys the monster that attacks it, and then destroys itself, and then when it's destroyed, it gets to search. 
So it's convoluted, is what is what I'm saying. It's like searching, but in worse. Yep. It's like searching, but with fundamental differences. Now, you better not have another one. Another one? Okay. No. <laughs> I mean, I was waiting for it. And then, you know, if I wanted to, since I got two level sixes, I could make uh, Utopia Beyond. But I'm not going to. He's going beyond that. Because I've got to, I got to keep a uh, Yang Zing on the field in order to use this. Ah. You can't use it unless there's a Yang Zing to destroy. Even though, like you saw before, you don't necessarily oh, have to rude. destroy. You should totally negate it. I it. am. <laughs> negated. No. Negated. Zephrect. And I do that just because it'll destroy this. And then you get free shit. Yep. Well, specifically... get another one. <laughs> specifically, I, I could get another one. But because it's my opponent's turn, I'm going to get Zephra War. Because I can oh, use yeah. this during his turn. And then last. From my hand to destroy whatever he summons. Zephras have a lot of outs. So he can he can fusion summon with this. I ever tell you you're just like a really rude player? <laughs> a little bit with with this deck. Zephra, I tried to do other things with Zephra, but this is really all they're good at is is making that. So he's got Predaplant Chimera. What's this, he gonna do with it? He's gonna he's gonna he's probably just nom gonna nom. attack. He's gonna try to. Is he gonna attack the darkness? What does that do? Target uh, banish it? Uh, no. I don't want you to be banishing that. I'm going to destroy it before you can banish it, and destroy you too. Because I don't feel like banishing, no, no, banish today. There's, there's a song called I Don't Feel Like Dancing by the uh, Scissor Sisters, which is a, which that's, a weird name. Uh, that's the name. Yeah, but it's really catchy. I just now learned about it, even though it's a pretty old song. It's been stuck in my head. So you may hear that tune a few times today. But yeah, that is this this deck is establish this. Then summon this guy over and over again every single turn to keep adding more negations to your hand. Cause in addition to that Yang Zing counter trap, we also have uh Zephra Divine Strike. It's like when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, banish one face up Zephra from your extra deck to negate it. And because this every turn can send something to your extra deck, you can get like three copies of this. You're only allowed to use once per turn anyway. So you could just banish a copy of it, or just send one of your other level 7s. As long as it's not one of your 1-ofs, because you usually want to keep those in case you want to get chosen of Zephra. Which, again, is that trap that's like, for every Zephra with a different name, you get different effects. Which is kind of a win condition on its own if you can get it, but normally you're going to be able to win before that. Because they're not going to be able to do anything. Although, I think this guy is kind of... Oh, okay. He's just figuring things out. He gets to add a polymerization. Surely, that will save him from destruction. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So I need to put another 7, and I've already got two of those. Luckily, there's this level 7 who's pretty much just a golden version of Exiton Knight. He's Zephrexicon. I can put him there. He's got 1,900 attack. Which is a lot of attack, if you didn't know. That's at least more than 5 attack. Not going to be able to do this during Link format, I tell you. No! Damn it! <laughs> Wrong button. Wrong way. I'm so used to putting everything in defense mode. Um, let's get another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fine. I mean, it's not it's not game over, but it's it's a lot of damage. And yeah, that's again. You, you get both of these, and then it's like. I mean, it would have been game over. Yeah, it would have been if I had remembered to put it in attack mode. But it's fine. Surely he won't come back and utterly destroy me with 1,500 life I, I just life like to point left. out, last time I was here, that exact situation happened. But this time, he has four cards, and I can negate two of them. <laughs> Activates three. <laughs> Fissure! Who, what is Fissure? This, the face-up monster with the lowest attack. So one of those two. Okay. Sure. Who plays Fissure? He doesn't get to destroy both of them. Thank you. But she just helps, so I don't know why... I'd... Yep, I'll just be taking another Zephra War, if you don't mind. <laughs> That's just rude. Yeah. And, and the worst part is he gets to see it, so he knows it's coming. Polymerization? Uh, nay? Nah. Zephrect? <laughs> Get hashtag Zephrect. 
So there we go. You you could see how how it works. You you zef wreck people and you do other things. Perhaps I'll show off some of these other ones. Perhaps I'll talk about the lore of the Zephra, because they actually got some pretty things. Only the future will be able to tell. Hey, future, what what's going to happen? That's, F- future? That's forbidden. You're not supposed to do that. Wait, why not? The secret police will be after you. Uh-oh. <laughs> and here we are, second duel versus testing. One, two, three, perhaps. So we get to go first. And hey, we get to search all the things. So let's go ahead and search all the things. We've got this Oracle of Zephyr. This is our field spell. When it's activated, you get to search. we got Zephyr Providence. When it's activated, you get to search. <laughs> we'll just pick one of our one scales. Um, I like this, the Yang Zing one. Just because it's another Yang Zing on the field, so if I don't want to destroy the one that's on the field. And there's going to be one on the field. Because it's a scale 7, so I could send that there. He becomes 7. This becomes one. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. Why is Bob your uncle? Eh? I don't have an uncle, Bob. You can't see, but I'm shrugging. I can confirm there was a shrug. Yep. There was actually two. There was the one, and then there was the other one to confirm that, yes, the shrug. (laughs) So there we go. I've got the nine branches, and then when this goes to the extra deck, it'll be things for uh, Zephyr Divine Strike. Um, let's see. Shuffle that card into the deck. What does this do in the graveyard? And he still has got his normal summon, but I've still got another negation, too. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's do the one thing we know he wants not to happen, and that's he's not going to get to test the deck. <laughs> no testing allowed, I'm sorry. You're going to hate me, XD. Probably. I mean, you're going you're gonna to hate me. Oh, he just made another one. Okay. Well, you might might hate him, because, <laughs> lol. No. No, I'm not allowing that. Who's going to hate who now? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of me not being hated. While we're at it, fuck traps. Oh, Paleozoics. Oh, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like, like that one bit. I don't bit. like it either. So, I've got another one of these. I'll just use that. I'll get me another one scale. Oh, you're gonna try to blow up my thing there, are you? He's gonna use a tarp. Oh no. Oh no, he's chaining a tarp. There's two tarps. Um, I actually kind of want this in the grave. Like, I could banish this, the other copy, from the graveyard to stop it from being destroyed. But I actually kind of want it in the graveyard. So, I'll allow that to happen. Well, in the extra deck, not the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you get the idea. Um this is a 7. So I need another one. <clears throat> Luckily, I could search another one. I'll just take another copy of that if you please. Let's just redo that turn. Let's there just redo go. that turn but this time <laughs> with feeling. Let's just put another fucking Yang Zing we're just driving Into the extra deck. We're just driving home the fact that he is now the angry one. Yep. So, defense mode. Defense mode. Defense mode. Um not going to use that effect. This one lets you summon one from your your uh, extra deck. And I'll do this first and this second just in case he's got something that negates. Probably not. This guy, when it's uh, Pendulum Summoned, you could target one monster and it becomes a tuner until the end of the turn. Oh. So that's how you can make all your synchros. Oh, you got another planty um, thingy. Target one banished card, return it to the graveyard. Okay. So he's going to return that to my graveyard just so he can do that. Um, but that's fine because I've got another one of these. And finally, I could do this because I have one of these in the graveyard. You can special summon this by tributing three monsters um, on the field, including one Zephyr, or all monsters you control. And then when he's summoned, you can Pendulum Summon again. Hacks. More. Lol. (laughs) (laughs) Hacker. You can't Pendulum Summon again. (laughs) Like, I was about to attack into you with 3,400 and then have another negation while all you have is one Paleozoic, so, uh, yeah. And these are counter traps. So he can't chain the Paleozoics to them because they're spell speed 3. I still don't understand spell speed and all that crap. It, it's just yeah. uh, you can only chain to a spell speed at your level or lower. 
So traps. Oh, okay. Tra- traps and quick play are spell speed two. Counter traps are spell speed three. So like you can't chain dark hole to something because it's spell speed one. But a trap oh. you can chain to a spell or another trap. Counter traps you can chain to anything. You know I probably should have looked this crap up before coming it's, back to the game. It's okay. People like to get <laughs> educated. So yeah, that's the only thing that can counter a counter trap is another counter trap. That's, ah, uh, that's oddly not counterintuitive. Yep. And then also even those counters. Which can mean, you counter somebody placing a counter? Yes, but only with counter cleaner, or counter counter cleaner. Next I duel. I can't count that much. <laughs> All right, here we are, third duel. And as is customary in the third duel, I want to point out. You see these sleeves? These are pretty cool sleeves. If you like the Zephyr and whatnot, that's pretty nifty. If you want to get these sleeves, you can donate to my uh, Patreon. Any amount of money, you will get all the sleeves for all 107 what a decks I have ever made, plus for the deck files. Now? Yeah, this is the 107th one. And the Zephyr have so many ways to search. They're just discount search warehouse. And oh, I, okay. For a second, I thought I didn't have a, a one scale, and I was like, "No, I should have paid attention." Um, so we're just going to do two of these. We're going to start a defense mode and attack mode, and then our defense mode is just going to be. And the only reason we're summoning another one is because when this is destroyed by nine pillars, we're going to grab our Zephyr War, and then we'll have something on the field that we can do. Um, this guy, I haven't mentioned him yet. If this is in your hand or the graveyard and a Zephra gets destroyed, you could special summon it. It's only got 2,000 attack, which is not like, you know, a Amazing. lot of attack. But What is that thing? That That's a... Uh, oh, Gofu. Black Wings. It's just like, if you control no monsters, just special summon it. Then you can summon two tokens. Uh, but they can't be used, they can't be tributed or used as synchro material. But they can do other things. A lot of people use them in, like... Usually they don't use them in desk bots. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not allowing that. No. I you, remember, know, you go uh, back into the deck where you belong. I remember desk bots. They, they gave me. Uh, they gave me nightmares. Uh, they're, not, they're not nice. What's up, bro? Not only did I negate your shit and get a free card out of it, but now you got to deal with this giant dragon beast with wings. Is Who's he a dragon a, beast? He's apparently... Yeah, oh, he's, he's a, a dragon. dragon. Guitars! Hey, what the fuck? It's a guitar. Playing a guitar! Guitar one card, special summon one symphonic warrior. Well, you know what? You know what I don't want you to do? <laughs> no! Is to summon things. No. So I'm just gonna be stopping that. He's <clears throat> just oh! gonna keep going. Okay. This, this is officially a thing. He is going to continue to do things in spite of how much I have negated and destroyed. One could almost say his duelist skill is rising. But he's already normal summoned. GG. GG. <laughs> Don't give up hope. Don't, Don't give, give up. up hope. That trap shit you, pretty busted. You might still win. And not as busted as Master Peace Zodiacs. You got two pendulum summons. I didn't use that yet. I mean, I could pretend to use it. Yeah, whatever. Um. He can't lose hope. He can't use hope, even though I'm. I think I'm about. Even to though, though you're about player. to destroy all things that exist, that is hope. I'm about to destroy love. But what is it? All love. Just all love everywhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. We said don't give up hope, and he we hoped said, out. You're supposed to let me sit there and just stomp you into the ground while I wait. <laughs> don't it, lose hope. Actually meant don't let me don't don't quit until I finish my combos. <laughs> don't quit until I I wasn't gonna do combos. I was just gonna attack for a whole bunch. You would have survived the next turn. Once this I you, this you only get two pendulum summons if this is in the extra deck and you summon it out onto the field. So, you know, and a lot of these, pretty much all the Zephyr effects are once per turn. Yep. So, like, even if I summon two of these, I don't get two searches. Even if I destroy them or summon it again, I don't get, I don't get another one. I'm seeing a surprisingly uh, lacking amount of Raigekis. Oh, yeah. I can negate Raigekis, though. 
next door. <laughs> All right, here we are, duel number four versus Dark New BR, and it's a fine day out here for dueling, James, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we have been sun is shining. The uh, uh, yeah, I said <laughs> that's a bold face. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a bold face lie. It's rainy and it sucks, <laughs> and we're down in a basement where there's probably <laughs> spiders and cockroaches, and we got cat. lights. There's lights. Yeah. It sometimes work. It's weird. My my dad down here, he when he was uh, younger, he worked at a bar and it closed down. So he's got these long tube fluorescent lights. Like Wait, that's kind... what these are from? Yeah. These oh are like my from God. the seven and like when when the bar closed down, the guy had like twenty replacements, so the closet has a whole bunch of replacement bulbs. <laughs> so they're these <laughs> really? long cylindrical fluorescent bulbs. Um that... They're also, if they break, they're, like, <laughs> deadly poisonous because they're from the 70s. <laughs> oh, that, I'm glad they're above my head. Phosphor! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. I love um, burning. This this dark noob is being a little too much of a noob. A little too dude, dark, dude, there's three. There's three cars in front of you. Um, Pick a finger gesture. Yep. Please. Please. Pl please. 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 So if we put it in the chat thing and just say, please, will something happen? <laughs> please. <laughs> Please, friend. <laughs> I'd like to duel. Please. <laughs> we'll be back if he ever if he ever pleases. I, I don't think he's going to heed the pleases. I, I don't think he pleases. We said please about 132 times. I didn't quite count, but I'm pretty sure it's about 132 times. And we listened to that whole dancing song that I was talking about. And it's still... still. So I think this, the dark noob is too much of a noob to even rock, paper, scissors. That's that's pretty newbie. Yep. So how do how we'll, do we how do we out the noob? We're we're just gonna go into a real real fourth duel. <laughs> okay, here we are. The real fourth duel versus Dex. Dex. Perhaps the uh, the Gecka. No, that was Gex. Gex oh, this is Gekka. so much worse. Filthy Dex builds. Oh. <laughs> oh. You don't put you don't put points into Dex. What are you doing? Well, he's playing. He's using sub terrors. He's Dark Souls They're 2. They're pretty terrifying. Every time I see these that 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 city, I think of the first DLC of Dark Souls 2. Oh my! It it looks very poison. He's got all these things set, and I don't, I'm not liking it. Also, I don't I don't have the, the one time we don't have a way to get it. Yep, it's it's a sad state. A, of and it's somebody actually trying. Um, let's see. <laughs> what do I want? I think I want this one. I, I don't think... know what it is. Something about this is just so cute. The little just green sort of haired that, thing. Yeah, she's just got that cute look on her face. Um, so what we're gonna do... I think what you need to do is put points into strength. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that he's not gonna be, like, Solemn Strike, because I will be sad. Okay, you you hope that, and then I'll hope that so somebody some understands two. my references. Um, Otherwise, I'm just gonna be sad. In more ways than one. Damn it. I so messed that it... up. So this guy, when it's summoned, you could destroy one other Zephyr card, and then one card your opponent controls. One face-up card. Oh... But you did it backwards. No, I just or... I shouldn't have acted the other I shouldn't have activated the other one's effect, because it's effect you turn something into a tuner, but when it leaves the field, it goes back into the deck. That way, you can't just keep doing it all over and over again. If oh, I hadn't okay. done that, it would have gone to the extra deck, and then I'd have a negation with divine strike. Instead, all I have is a twenty one hundred wall, because I'm dumb. That's a pretty short wall. Yeah, and here's that chosen of Zephyr card. Depending on the number of face-up Zephyr monsters with different names in the extra deck. I only play it at one. But it's like, if you get all ten, send this card to the graveyard. Shuffle all cards into your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard into the deck. If you get eight, your monsters can't be targeted. Five, your monsters can't be destroyed. That's rude. Three, they just gain a hundred attack for every face-up card in the extra deck. But if you have ten of them, then everything has like a thousand. So he's just going to banish stuff, and I can't, uh, I can't stop that because I don't have... <laughs> I done goofed. I shouldn't have activated both effects. What did the fiendess do? I can't remember what she does. Um. Oh, it keeps... Okay. Let's see. During either player's turn, when they activate a card effect, it could send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, target one sub terror, negate the activation, change the monster to face down defense position. Huh. But he's going to flip it face down so that he can summon another one. Because the sub terrors all have this effect that, like, if a monster's flipped face down, you can summon it. Oh, and you just get another, got another one. one. That's cool. I'm sad now. I really like my big Zephyro, the one that I like. That one there? No. Right, right there? Not that one. At this point. No! Oh, that's, that, that's not helpful. 
No, you're not helpful at all. You can target one Zephyr in your graveyard, special summon it, but destroy it during the end phase. We don't need you adorable It's only thing. really good if I, like, sync, or if I Ixy summon, which I do from time to time. Um. Well. Fuck. Eh. Yeah, I think I may have lost this one, unfortunately, because I started with a bad hand. I didn't go first. Oh, yeah, I forgot he could just negate the attack and then banish my thing. Ooh. I don't think uh, this this going to end well. Nope. Nope, sadly. We'll be back if something changes. But I think I might have just goofed it entirely. Joe, why did you let Dex build win? I'm sorry. Ruined! I'm sorry! <laughs> Alright, here we are, fifth duel. Things things have gone sad here at Hard Leg Station. Our undefeated streak has been defeated. We're no longer undefeated. Um, and I've got all these sevens. This is not cool. Um, because I don't... The, the thing is, you generally don't want the... Because like I, got, I got this now. I could search it clearly. But uh, I, if I put a seven into the extra deck, then I can't pendulum summon it back out. Because all I have is sevens. So I need to put a number one. Um, let's see here. I think, yep, just the other Yang Zing. The Yang Zang. And then, what can I make, a fucking eight? Uh, let me, yeah. I'm just going to get all these out. Just bam, and then also bada bingo, and then also bada bango. And then he's going to turn this guy into a tuner. And then I only have one level 8, and it's not particularly great first turn play, because it's Ignister. Ignister! But I'm going to make it, because it'll put this into the extra deck. Oh, I could draw a card and discard a card. Uh, sure. Oh wait, no, I can put one on top of my deck. I'll put this on top of my deck. Yeah, the field spell, in addition to searching, gets an effect depending on what kind of summon you do. So if you do a Synchro, you can put a monster on top of your deck. If you do an Ixie, you can draw a card and discard a card. I love putting cards on my deck. Yep. So I can put that, so I'm ready for next turn. I've got this in the extra deck for Divine Strike. So I should be good. Uh, you got a blue eyes deck. What does this do? And is normal summon, you're going to add one light tuner from your deck to your hand. Um, I think I just want to shut that down, don't I? Yeah, he's got to get that, that one female they can just bring out of blue eyes whatever her name is no the maiden it, it might get the thing i'm worried <laughs> about is a, yeah but maiden's not really good in the current format because there's enough stuff like most people will just destroy it on their turn and then deal with the the blue eyes most people have enough destruction in their deck so i'm just going to stop that and hope that if i shut down his searches he's not going to valo is not going to be able to do anything or maybe it's wallow Ooh. ouch now he's got to do something. Yep. He's got to play the guitar. The melody of Awakening Dragon. A sad state of affairs, to be certain. And 3,000 is more than 2,850, sadly. Ah, oh, damn, I don't like that math. Nope. Damn alternative white gender dragon. Whatever it is. That's what Cardsworth used to be like. It's the uh, the Blue Eyes alternative gender dragon. <laughs> it prefers to be called they. So there goes my Ignister, the blasting Draco Slayer. He, he but fortunately, it looks like I shut them down fairly. It depends if they've got some, some more traps. The one trap I don't have to worry about as much. Let's go ahead and put a, a level, another level 1 in here. Um, what's a good level one? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh this that, guy. That one. Yeah. Now let's hope that he doesn't have Solemn Strike right here, because if he has Solemn Strike, I'm going to be sad. I think he has Solemn Strike. Damn it. Well. I'm um, sad. <laughs> I just have one question. Yes. Can you use your premonition powers to uh to to help me win the lottery? Cause um, that that was called. 
I mean, he just set one. He, it, I think it could have been anything. He could have been like, yeah, you got to call it haunted. Solid just... Strike is a very, very popular card. So he's going to do that, which means he can't attack with this one this turn. But then he's going to make a, a level 9 synchro. And this one can tag out for things. And also negate effects in my graveyard, because I use so many graveyard effects. Do you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> use none. I didn't think so. Zero graveyard effects, people. Read your Bible. <laughs> Is that in the Bible? <laughs> it might be. That's it. And Bible? yet it be said that Hardleg never used the graveyard. It's a big book. Well. Oh, okay, good. He's only destroyed, he's not getting my scales, so if I happen to draw another one of these, or a one, or one of my things that searches all the things... Oh, wait, no. Because when this is sent to the graveyard, he can... Oh, no, he's not... Okay. There's that one. Oh. Oh, uh, well, that's, uh, that's, that's, um, un unfortunate. Yep. But if I set and pass with confidence, perhaps he'll be afraid to attack. He'll be like, do Zephyr play Sandstorm Mirror Force? Zephra might play Sandstorm Mirror Force. Um, I'm trying to think. That would be 3, 4, 5. That would be 55, right? Yeah. Okay. So that'd be dead. Oh, it just adds it back to his hand. Okay, good. Hey! Yeah, he's scared. Never give up! Never surrender! <laughs> don't don't be like whatever. The, what was the do the quit? I forget. No one remembers a quitter. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, yeah! the draw. Um. Okay, but I still need to get a one. <coughs> oh, but he can make it so I can only special summon one. Oh wait, no, because I can negate that effect. Yeah, because he's like, uh, oh, no, your opponent can only special summon one card from the extra deck per turn. Okay, so I. I need a one. Um, this will let me... In your graveyard, okay. Wait, you're about do to do I, things in the graveyard. I have one in the you graveyard. Don't, you don't do that. No, because if he activates the effect, <laughs> I can Zephyr Divine Strike, so I'll summon out this, get my search, and then we'll be good. Um, we be jamming? Yep. Give me this back. I want it. I want it, and that means... Oh! <laughs> Who uses Effect Veiler? That's the, they, they're all level 1 tuners. Um, This is going to be less useful to me. Oh, but it's... Okay. Does this get... when? It, oh, it's only when it's Pendulum Summoned. Well, doesn't that just rusty up my spork now? You saved yourself, maybe. A oh, turn? it's destroyed during the end phase. Okay. Um. Uh. Ooh. Zephyr War is the only thing I'm gonna be used for my hand. I just gotta hope he attacks. Okay. During either player's turn, when a card effect. Okay, you can negate that. During either player's turn, you can tribute this synchro summon card. Special summon one light dragon synchro type monster, so you can use that to evade things. Um, I just gotta see what he does. I might, I still might be able to pull this out. Just barely. Pull it out. Pull it out, pull it out, then you get the little scrub pants. Everybody knows that you don't have scrub hands. Okay, so, use that. He's not gonna be able to attack with that. Uh, activate this. This is already going to be destroyed. So destroy this. Waiting. And then he'll only be able to attack with this one. Unless he could tag it out during the battle phase. No, it has to be in defense position. Haha. -ha. So he can only attack with this one. Unless he could summon again. So I think I'm safe for another turn. But as long as this is out here, this this just says that neither player could special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Okay. Black Rose. That's different? No, because it's if I summon level 5 or higher, you can send them back to my hand. And then make a Crystal Wing. Who has 3,000 attack. 
sneaky little cheek. A sad state of affairs, but we we did pretty well considering. Considering we're on we one that, card the entire time. We got that solemn striked. Uh, but yeah, so there there's a legitimate loss. So, you know, that almost makes me feel better, because then it's like, our one loss won't be from the time I messed up, it'll also be from this time we just got outplayed. Brothel stomped by blue eyes. Yep, a sad state of affairs. But I'll see you in the next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, six duel versus Will. Just a very, very simple name. We get to go first. We've got a good hand, which means I'm going to go ahead and give a big old hard leg, a Patreon shout out to Daniel Frousing. Frou yeah, Daniel Frousing. His name's on the screen. He's a cool guy. You you could definitely see, you could tell because his name is on the screen. Um, What am I going to get? I'm going to get, I'm going to get Divine Strike, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get Divine Strike. But yes, Daniel Frousing, nice high level Patreon donor, very cool guy, very friendly. He he doesn't he doesn't do much in the, the the Discord channel, so I haven't gotten a chance to talk to him all that much, but from what I've seen of him, just just a very nice gentleman. So, as always, go ahead and give give him a um a, a thank you in the uh the the comments. And if if you want your post pinned, it should be like thank you Dan Frousing, and then you can put something something else funny if you want. Whatever you feel like, man. Or you could do the generic thing and just point out you have nothing funny to say. Yep, which is what, what some people do. That's just that's what they do. I mean, story of my life. Let's go ahead and... Yep, there we go. Because I've already got a Zephyr Providence in the graveyard, which is really good. Not only does it search... You know why I like this deck? It's, it's the only deck I've seen so far that has an actual hand trap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, as long as I have Literally the two pendulum scales up. Should I negate his reinforcements of the army? No. Hmm. Amazonis, the fiend. What? You didn't know there was new Amazonis spell trap support? No. Nope. That's a monster, though. Yep. Oh, you're like, nah. Uh, no. Nah, bruh. I'm not Zephyrect. Get back in there. <laughs> Go back in there. You just got out of the deck. Go back in. Yep. <laughs> no one likes you. I'm sorry. I didn't want to be the one who had to tell you this, but... No one likes you. It's so just... rude. Wow. Oh, that hurts. Yep. So then we're going to go ahead and use Zephyra Divine Providence. You got to do some plays. Um, I still have a Divine Strike. Yep. To get another. <laughs> Chosen of Zephyra. Go ahead and activate that. Why not? Um, This is a seven, right? Okay. I just... So we'll get... It's just not a nice person. A second one of these. And then I'll use, I need a one scale, so I'll put the, the one scale that has a lot of attack. No! I fucked up! <laughs> yep, you fucked up. Oh, I fucked it all up! I thought I, I That's thought this a was one. a one, no, this is not a one scale. Well, doesn't that just rumple my stilt skin? Um, target one card in either player's pendulum zone, return it to the hand. Um, okay. This effect... Doesn't work because it wasn't Pendulum Summoned. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> ooh. Just, just misplay after misplay. I could do the. It, it's just. It's just not good. Um. Okay. I'm. Oh no, I can't. It has to be one card. My opponent controls. Okay then. I done goofed, and I didn't even attack for nine hundred. I could have attacked for nine hundred. <laughs> All right. Uh, not even. For out. counting at home, that's like five minutes. He quit. What? It's okay. My misplays were so they strong. They were so strong and so scary he had no idea what you were doing. He thought I was just taunting him. He's like, this guy's playing bad on purpose just to show me up. Well, I won't give him the satisfaction, and he quit. <laughs> Do we put an asterisk next to that win? <laughs> no, I, I, I earned that win. That win is mine, and no one will take it away from me. Next duel. Okay, here we are. Seventh duel? Uh, yes. Seven, okay, versus Ra X Red X Sun. So edgy. He's got th he's got he's, two X's. He's got he's got three R's. Ooh, no, it's two R's. Sixty card deck. These aren't gonna be useful anymore. They just hit that thing. Oh no. Uh, DD Savant Kepler. These aren't gonna be useful anymore once Link Summon comes out. I'm but fine with that. We may we may be we may. It's be okay. I them. I welcome the Quasar overlords. That they're no, just they're gonna, gonna take over everything. <laughs> Quasar has never taken over everything. People no, they'll always do want it. them to. No, they'll do it, I swear. I mean, you can. It's just really <laughs> complicated. It's the simple decks that win. 
most of the time. Now, people, when you say simple, do you mean like they're easy, or do you mean simple like they're dumb? A little bit of both. Oh, okay. And people people just want to make masterpiece and sit on that and be like, I don't have to think about anything. This thing's just invincible. Yeah, that's fun sometimes. Just you just want want, I don't want to like, think. I need to get to my Yang Zing as fast as possible and get as many counter traps as I possibly can. And say the word possible as much as possible. Yep. Kim possible. That's impossible. Did, didn't really like that show that much. Ugh. Wasn't a fan. Wasn't a fan of Kim Possible. Comment in the comments what you thought about Kim Possible. I uh, thought I thought it was too goofy for me to take the action part seriously, and then too actiony for me to like take it entirely as a comedy. Like I couldn't just relax and enjoy it because it had action parts. So what you're saying is it was Rush Hour, the cartoon, only better. No, it was like a watered down Rush Hour. Where so like, it was worse than Rush Hour. Yes. Confirmed. Yeah. Hard leg Joe. Kim Possible worse. Kim Possible than the movie is Rush worse Hour. than Rush Hour. I, I am sure we just lost a lot of fans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone everyone quit. What the f It's just still going. Super Doom King Whitest Armageddon. <laughs> that is racist. Racist, <laughs> racist Armageddon. Jesus. It's, have you not seen just DVDs? Got, no, not uh, done right. You cannot target <laughs> monsters you control with card effects. So another monster is... You can activate this effect. Choose one pendulum monster they control and all their face-up monsters. Uh... He's got 11,000 Choose one tech. pendulum they control, and all other face-up monsters they currently control have their effects negated. Well, that's... That's not nice. Fuck. <laughs> this is not good. No. No, James, it's not. Um, that... So on a pendulum scale from 1 to 12, how bad is it? <laughs> We're fucked, is what it is. Is that a number? Um, do, you, do you have a card with fucked on the, on, the, on the scale? Let me think. I need to get... Don't even know. He's just gonna blow up whatever you add. He's not gonna blow it up. He's just gonna negate. Well, he's gonna negate it. He's gonna. But... He can negate one of the effects, I think. If I'm reading, I don't know. I don't feel like reading. There's too much text. This has six thousand defense. I'm not... Um. Oh wait. No, I could do this without. Okay. Just let me think. Um. Activate. No misplays. Let's just send a level one. Which. Which will be a... Make sure it's actually one. Yeah, let's get this guy. And then activate this, actually. Then... I can't target him with card effects, can I? Nope. <laughs> um... You can kill his stuff, at least. It's probably helping him in some way. Yeah. I can kill his thing. Yeah, I can't target him with card effects. Okay. Um, but I've got both of these. And this is one... Okay, you can target one of... Telonite or Zephyr card in your monster or pendulum zone. Okay, so I could search again. So what I'm going to do... We'll go ahead and this one first, this one second. I'll destroy this. And I can't target his shit! What am I thinking? <laughs> Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Why not? Why not? And then and the gate. Select one pendulum monster. Um, opponent chooses one pendulum and one of the face-up monster they could hurt. Okay, so I'll negate this effect. Oh, I choose. Uh, I thought it was choose one you want to be negated. And I can only you can only activate one Oracle of Zephyr. Okay. I can't target his stuff, but I can make him think that I have things. And I can disrupt plays. Although, man, um, that's going to be hard to get over without targeting things. I've got another Oracle. So he's going to be able to search one of those, so that's probably what I'm going to want to do. Is just destroy this and hope I draw into any pendulum. No. Oh wait, no, I can destroy my field spell. <laughs> I always forget about that. No, you're stuck with what you have. You, you can't OT kitten. Damn it! Yeah. He's not stuck with what he has. He can do other things. Hey look, he has a hard to masturbate dragon. Yep. 
It's uh, apparently Vice Typhoon, which I guess is hard to masturbate with. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be that guy. Um, oh, great. Siegfried. Oh, jeez. Well. Oh, okay. You can just keep activating that so that none of my stuff is negated. This is dumb and I don't like it. <laughs> I just got bigger things. I'm glad Link Summoning are making you dumb. This is fucking dumb. This is even worse than my shit. Where the fuck even are you? Too much text. Why, are you just gonna negate that for fun? It's funsies. Easy funsies. And then it's game attack. Um, not Or not quite. quite. Can I use one more than Can one Zephyr? No, I can only use one Zephyr War per turn. I could pretend. I can hold down A and be like, yeah, I want to activate that effect, even though I can't target anything. Oh. Can't target anything he controls. Not a goddamn thing. Comment in the comments if that was dumb. Pre press press F to pay respects. <laughs> Alright, here we are, Eighth Duel versus Rigoberto. Probably from Italia. Hey, it's a spicy Amita ball. And all those other racist phrases. Hey. Hey. I've got no Zephras and two pillars of the Zephra. <laughs> or, no, I've got no Yang Zings and two pillars of the Yang Zing. Um. Set? He'll never know. Set? Your move, holy man. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, in all the testing I've done, I've never gotten, like, a bad hand like this. Not that I can remember. So for me to get two in ten duels is kind of crazy. Normally, because, cause, again, there's so many ways that you could search out things that normally, like, I'll either get Zephrath, or I'll get Zephyr Providence, or I'll get the Field Spell. Okay, he's just attacking with that. That's cool. I have more defense. Because I'm, I'm a Satellar Knight. Ha-ha! Yeah, so if you didn't know, the Zephras are all other archetypes that have, like, combined together to fuse into a thing. Um, target one other and one set card. Okay. So yeah, these two are kind of the same. Um, not only because they're both Satellar Knights, but this is like, when it's summoned, target one other Zephra. Destroy it and destroy a face-up card. This is destroy it and destroy a face-down card. Um, so I think what I want to do is cry, but there's no time for that. <laughs> um... No... From your ex, okay. You Wendy? Yep. Zeph Wendy. It's literally Zeph Wendy. Zephra Wendy. Zephra Wendy. Um, Zephra Wendy go. I don't know why I built my pendulum scales. I could make a rank four if I wanted. That would be cool, right? No oh, yeah. Damage. He could summon a level four or lower magnet warrior. If he's the kind that uses the actual Magnet Warriors. For whatever reason, I always see this, and I assume people are just doing the, the same thing I did with the... Uh, yeah, I'll kill that. I don't like that. Get out of here. Get out of here, you S. Um, what could I make? Nothing good, really. <laughs> You could, you could Utopia the Lightning? Or yeah, did you, you even could. do that in this one? I could Utopia the Lightning, but what, what good would that do? Uh, like, they wouldn't be able to attack over it, but he has a lot maybe, of ways. He has other maybe ways to, maybe, to maybe they that. don't know what it does, and they're like, oh, it's only got 25. <laughs> maybe they just see it, and they're so salty from previous times of losing it, they just surrender automatically. It'll be like that other guy, where he just like played a 900 attack monster when he still had full life points, and he's just like, oh, that's it. It's yep. the trigger card. I'm out. I'm out. I quit. Nothing to do. I'm out. Why did I ever play Amazonas in the first place? <laughs> I'm outie. What was I'm I outie thinking? 500. It's a car. Yep, I just get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's doing foolish things. He's already on his way. He's burying cards. Monsters aren't even supposed to be dead yet. Why would he do such a thing? Why does he have such a shovel? Because, uh... Altered card art. You know, it's just weird because I'm thinking about that. That the card is like that doesn't really make sense. If he had the shovel, why did well, why how did he, did he bury get himself? Buried? Maybe he buried himself, and that's why he's foolish. Oh, okay. 
But he's just holding it up like he's bursting out, but it's like... Oh, well, yeah, he realized it was foolish, and I was trying to get out, and he's like, Finally, air! Air! <laughs> oh, the air there is! Um, okay, so... Let's try this. Uh, normal summon? Okay. Pendulum summon this back out? Okay. Activate effect, destroy this and your face down card? That's... What is he doing exactly? He's building up... Oh. Oh, Hold on. hi. He's building up resources so that he could eventually make some kind of giant magnet warrior, and I don't have the things to uh make to him get not over do that. that. <laughs> I mean, next turn I could just as easily. Yeah, this, if all you control is stone monsters, you could summon this out or rock monsters. And I was gonna make that thing that like negates effects and also it, lowers attack to zero. Is there a lobster that's a rock type yet? No, Aww. there should be though. There's no rock lobster. Please, lo please, lobster Konami, matter. make a rock lobster. Rock Lobster Meta! Rock Lobster? That's not a Rock Lobster! That's not what I thought. It's not even remotely making, the same thing. That is either. weird, though. Fusion Gate? What? Hmm. Oh, I guess he is going to make the thing. He's just doing it in a weird roundabout way. In and around the lake. Yep, there it is. Empyrean Magnum, the superconductive battle bot. You know. Oh. It has 4,000 attack and negates things for breakfast. Is that Arissa with a sword? Yes. Yes, that's Arissa with a sword. It is. Look. Look on the left arm. It's even got the little shield thingy. Yep. It's even got a little shieldy thingy. Arissa online. I mean, I could stop this if I get a Yang Zing. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a Yang Zing. Yang Zang. I, just, I would like a Yang Zing. Oh, that Zing thing's boost. ugly looking. Yep. It's because he's a beta. He's a beta. He's a dirty beta. He's doing things. There's the alpha. He he's summoned taller. out the alpha. Yep. And then there's a gamma. I don't even want to talk about those. That, that beta is missing a fedora. A future joke. Could you put a fedora yes! on there? Oh, oh no, no. No, I no? cannot. Uh -huh. well, I can do this. <laughs> um, summon all the things. Let's just get one of these on here. And one of those. And I'll get one of that. And this guy for good measure. So yes, and yes. So we'll do this first, so we can't negate it. This second. Um, he'll blow up the 1900. And also... This. Not the 4000? So will he negate? No, because the 4000 is going to try to negate, and then I can nine branches it. Ah! Because I already have it out on the field. <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked. So much explosion noise. And then I'll get this, which will help. Now I could do more things, right? Just slightly. <coughs> just slightly. Do all the things. I just hope he doesn't have... Yeah, this is target two... Fa okay, they have, he has to have Phantom Knights in order to do that. So what I'm going to do is get the other uh, Yang Zing so I can get it out on the field, and then I'll have this other nine branches for it since the this, this one's gone and I already pendulum summoned. Can those phantom guys, like, do they even, like, have a support enough to make a deck by themselves? Yeah. I've never seen them as a deck. I've always seen them as, like, shoehorned into some other deck. Yeah, they usually go with Burning Abyss. Everything but goes with Burning they're Abyss. One of those, they're, they're like speedroids where it's like... There are other speedroids besides Terror Top. Like, yeah, there's like 30 of them, but no one plays any of them hardly. I'm kind, I'm kind of looking for like I'm, I'm gonna try to make them pretty soon. I don't know. I've been trying to think of, uh, what was it? Part of me wants to make a bunch of decks that like won't work after Link format before Link format hits. But another part of me is worried that they'll like update YGO Pro and there'll be no way to go back before I get to record. So I'll, like, spend all week testing a, a speedroid deck that, like, synchros into other synchros, only to be denied. That also, be I think he's, he's too salty to exist anymore. <laughs> I think that might have been... I think he's upset. I think maybe if I could... No, he's just, he's just looking through every card's description now. Can I do something with this? Yep. And it's not like I can OTK him or anything. Again, it's like, you know, I, I understand, like, oh, that was a strong maneuver... I I've just taken the the tempo of the the duel into my favor, but it's it's not over. I don't know what your cards in your hand are, but you can still summon this. You've still got like a rank three play. 
You've still got Fusion Gate on the field. Maybe you could just make another one of those things. You never know. Oh, maybe his thing just timed out. Maybe you need to give him... Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. It did... Yep. It timed out, and he just disconnected. Disconnect. Oh, I so claim I guess... that as victory, though. I was going to grab another one. I had another negation. I could do things. Don't don't argue with me. I could have done things all right. There, there's an asterisk. I added it. Oh. Yes. Joe, Joe in editing, don't add that. I added it. It's too no, late. No, shut. <laughs> Start there. Next duel. Put it back. <laughs> all right, here we are, ninth duel. That's the second to last, if you don't know how to count. And we're versus Ryu, or Ryo. Ryo? Ryo? Thunder King Ryo? No, oh, that's spelled no. differently. Doesn't have a Y. If it had a K, it'd be Ryko. Yes. Hey, they're letting me go first, and we've got we've got things. The worst thing you could do. The worst thing you could do with, with these. This is really a go-first kind of deck, I tell you what. Um... And let's just go ahead and do some of this. I'm going to be like, Boom Wakasha. And this one is also going to be like, Hello, my name is Yang Zing. I'm not going to activate that. Normally I'll, I'll activate both, just in case this gets Ghost Ogred, then I can go into a uh, level 9 play. Which, yes, there is a level 9 uh, synchro in this deck. It's the, the Yang Zing one. It's not of any use. It's just 2800 attack, but it's still better, like... If they Ghost Ogre this, or not that Ghost Ogre, if they um, Ash, Blossom. Ash Blossom this and you can't search, it's better to at least have a 2900 on board. I got this, and then we've got Pendulum. Cyber Dark Claw. Okay, oh. I have not looked at these yet. This card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster. Add one Cyber Dark Spell Trap from the deck to the hand. Okay. The monster is equipped battles during damage calculation. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Um, the monster can add target cyber dark monsters you control with card effects. Okay, he's gonna send stuff to the graveyard. Dragons, perhaps. Dargons? Fucking, fucking what? Okay. This card is normal summon. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can special summon this card. Add one supreme gate. Um, he still hasn't normal summoned yet, has he? Nope. Um, but I could still blow something up with this, so I think I'm going to go ahead and not allow him to get pendulum cards. And get a free thing. Yay. It's not free. I paid for it. It cost me a Yang Zing. <laughs> yeah, but he paid more. True. Right? Yeah. Plus, you could just bring that out next turn. Just bring it out again. It's, like, it's actually up. to my advantage to destroy it. And then if he only sets one, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Yeah. So, end phase. Ha-ha! Fuck your shit! No bewildering wind for you. Sadly, I can't use this because I didn't draw another another. Uh, ze oh wait, I got this right here. <laughs> but uh, I don't have to draw nothing. No, what? But I want to do. Um, what do? What do? What do? Let's just get another Zephyr on board. Oh wait, no. Um, okay, so wait. You this is one, right? Yeah, you need a seven. I need a seven. Um, is there a seven that destroys face downs? Yes, that is the one I want. Now I'll go ahead and use this, and I'll get Divine Strike for negating. Let's just get all these. Yo, what's up? I used to be Exiton Knight, excuse me. A Lamau. And he'll just be like, uh, no, I don't want to use that one. So we'll go first and second. He will blow up. This, yeah, this one. And your face down. Yeah. I think you can use the. Yep. You bring it back. He's taking it back. And then I'm going to get my Yangzing path back. And now I have something in the extra deck to use for this. You have a chosen of Zephyr. Yep. You could be that. Put that down, and then he'd just be like, "Ah, oh, shit." But yeah. This this echo oscillation. Pretty pretty nice. Now I look like I have all the traps. Yeah, he'll never know. Yeah, but there's a destroy one card. It's continuous, so you can destroy one card in your pendulum zone and draw one card. So that's a great way to get this into the extra deck if I happen to draw seven. That way I can keep my scales up. Um, he's trying to he's trying to add gates to his hand again, and I'm I'm still not liking that. I can't remember what the gates do either. So 
they just have there's there's pendulum scales. Uh, they're they're uh, zero and thirteen, so they can literally pendulum summon fucking everything. Thirteen. Uh, yeah. What? So he can pendulum summon between one and twelve. Why? Why wouldn't it just be twelve? Because it, you can't summon it equal. Like if you have a one scale, you can't pendulum summon. Oh, uh, okay. So with that, he could you could pendulum summon the Egyptian. So where's where my pendulum summon of zeros? How do I pendulum summon star one stars? With the zero scale. There's zeros too. Yeah. Oh, I'm there's learning. the supreme gate, and then there's pendulum Malucho. Which is a new thing. As opposed to the old thing? Yep. So, hey. So yeah, this guy's probably not going to be doing yeah. good. It's just... It's, yeah. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and activate this. We'll blow up this. Draw a card. No. Activate my seven. Special summon... All the things? Several monsters. A. What's up? How's it going? My name's Tim. Hi, Tim. No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get another one of these. Dude. And then, hey, I control more than three monsters, so let's just... Oh. Zephrath back out, and then I can pendulum summon again! This is dirty, and you know it. It is so dirty. Quits. This is the dirtiest Let's working. see if he sits through to the end. Or does he quit? Usually by now they quit. And we'll target that. And then while we're here, let's just go ahead. Make sure you can't summon anything higher than level 7. And then while we're here, let's just go ahead and tribute this. And get a monster with 2,000 attack. Because you can tribute any any Zephra and get another Zephra. Y'all yeah, just a dick, man. Yep. I mean, you could have ended it. Could I have ended it beforehand? Yeah, I could have ended it with the 15, but I wanted yeah. to show off what this does. <laughs> the one show off. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ryo. Ryo. I didn't mean to. We, we yeah. commend you for at least staying to the end instead of just quitting right right out right. If you wanted to make something, if you just want to be that guy who's like, I can pendulum summon twice and use Zephrath over and over again, Echo Oscillation is something you probably want to play at three. I only played it at two because it's not what I'm trying to do, but you could do it. You could do it, man. There's also cool, like, you could target, what was it? Zephra War doesn't uh, stipulate that both cards have to be destroyed. So I could target, like, a Pendulum, and then also target it with Echo Oscillation. And their card will be destroyed, and I get to draw a card by targeting the same, by destroying the same card that I control, like, twice, essentially. Nope, that guy was right, this is broken. <laughs> Echo Oscillation, though, it does, it, the card has to be destroyed in order to draw a card. Important thing to note. I guess I'll add that in, just uh, just in between. Hi, people. How are you doing? You enjoying the show? Comment in the comments if you're enjoying the show. Oh, no! The final battle! No! Player! You fiend! Why have you come? Why are you here? Get out your pens and papers, everyone. It's time to begin. Granted, I'm going to do the same fucking thing I've done a million times before. This deck's kind of linear. It's not the most interesting. I didn't want to play this deck, but it got uh, requested. And I can play it, so I did. But we can go ahead and put that there. We can go ahead and activate that. We can go ahead and special summon these things. This guy's favorite. It was waiting for a second, so I thought something was happening, maybe. Okay. And then because I already have this, I'm going to grab Zephyr Providence. And then use that to grab Waiting. my Divine Zephyr thing, the other counter trap. I'm guessing he's got a hand trap. Just because you want this in the graveyard. Um, because I, I, I'm i not sure if I've even... Have I shown that off yet? If Zephyrus would be destroyed, you can banish this instead. It's popped up a bunch, but you've never done it. Yeah. It's good if they, like, twin-twister your scales, because it's just, like, during that instance, they, if they would be destroyed, they aren't instead. But it's also good because the things like, um, what was it? Like, nine branches, 
specifically says like when a uh what was it negate the activation and if you do shuffle that card in the deck then destroy one other yang zing card you control since it has that then you don't have to destroy this in order to like you resolve that first effect first which means you can banish this and keep your uh yang zing on the oh field. hey perfect chance to try it out right uh maybe no he's gonna go oh. for my back row so that I'm just going to negate. Sadness. But yeah, I can banish Zephyr Providence instead. And then I'll get my Zephyr War. Which I can use on my field spell, because I have another field spell in my hand. And I rarely use the field spell. There's some cool combos you could do with the field spell. I just haven't really used Utilized it all that much. It. The main things with Stardust Charge Warrior. Uh... There Player we quit. go. I mean, there you he, go, to be Clint. fair, he discarded his soul charge in order to do that. Um, you know, give me one second. Let me see how long we've been doing this. Oh, okay. This has been like an hour and a half already. I was going to say, maybe do another one since that was anticlimactic. But you know what? I think you got a gist for what the deck does. Like, there's a couple other toolbox things you could do, but mostly it's just counter traps, balance it, bouncing this thing back and forth over and over again. So. Well, plus, keep in mind, we got a victory over player where he just quit right at the beginning. Yeah. Take that, player. Take that. We could go go somewhere. Another running. loss for you. So, 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 I need to find that comment that had the tallies. Yeah, someone's been tallying it up. What this? Either way, I'll see you on the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pure Zephra stun went seven and three, which is pretty good. About as about as good as I thought it would do. We had a couple of losses there. One of them entirely my fault for misplaying. But you know that that kind of thing happens from time to time. Uh, either way, thanks again to Jonathan Barks for for uh su for not suggesting it for requesting it, which is different because he had to pay to request it. That's how the Patreon works. If you want to request episodes of your own, you you could do that. I think it's like fifty dollars now. It's kind of expensive. Uh, I don't know. James is nodding in agreement, but he's not saying anything. Did you enjoy the the episode, James? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, we got to see some cool things. Comment in the comments if you liked having James around. Um, we'll maybe have him here more often, perhaps. Who knows? I, I like having me around. <laughs> can I vote for me? You can. You gotta vote in the comments. You gotta give me more comments. Oh, that'll, that'll push my video up higher in the ranking. So anyway, uh, next week I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Probably another uh another uh deck that's going to be ruined by link format. Like oh, this I know. You're gonna, you're gonna do a you're gonna do a Yu-Gi-Oh video. Oh yeah, it'll definitely be Yu-Gi-Oh. No Magic: The Gathering next turn. So should should be fun. Until then, good luck, and have fun. fun. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that before the end screen, I'm going to put a little replay of me using this uh, Chosen of Zephyr card, because I got it down once when testing, and it was pretty neat against, like, a stall deck. So if you ever wanted to see that, there'll, there'll be that, but it's just the one replay. I'm not doing a whole bunch of them. And then it'll be the end screen, which has, like, a subscriber, or not a sub it has a Patreon button on it. Make sure you click that Patreon button, people. It'll be pretty nice. It's got a song, too. James said so. <laughs> I did? Yes. Oh, I did. <laughs>